That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's just remarkable. It really is. <laughs>
And then all of a sudden we can't, you know, we can't help them with the bite stuff. That's what stinks. But they get started on their path because all of a sudden they got an objective opinion and they understand what's wrong and now they can seek out treatment elsewhere that makes sense. And there's very few places that you can really go. And that's, you know, coming here, part of the advantage is you learn who's really good. Do you have an inner network? Are there some, uh, yes. anybody in Central Ohio who uh, maybe just some, no. even if you don't know them or just like? No. Okay. The CNO, the teaching center, mm -hmm. we have the database, the Find a Doc database. Okay. No one in Ohio yet. There's a guy in Pennsylvania that's training, but he hasn't finished his exam work. So we, I test him. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm the guy wow. that tests the test together. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to put that together so patients can find someone that understands what this stuff is and what bites mean to dental world. Because even the supposed specialists don't get this. Right. Okay, so, so we fix their work. And there's a few of those specialists that are learning this stuff, which is a big deal. As and they should. And they're loving it. Oh, I, I, I couldn't see, and I couldn't really, see, I, I understand it's a, a laziness issue maybe, or just time, maybe they just don't have the time. Time and money. But I mean, they I, have can't, the time. They I can't imagine it. any dentist who would, who would see this and go, oh, I don't agree with that. I just, I couldn't. Gums, them. teeth, and bites. Dentists are supposed to be experts at all three. They right. suck at bites, <laughs> including the orthodontists, including the oral surgeons, because they don't know this stuff. They have, they're not shooting MRIs. Right. They don't understand the influence and then the neurology behind how the teeth that changes the bite, what teeth are whacking together, what's doing to the muscle. How it affects the whole system, the sympathetics, mm -hmm. crawling up, the vasoconstriction, the vasodilatation. Yeah, it's a big deal. Thank you right. so much. Yeah, man. Get him out of here. <laughs> Let him go enjoy his day. Any advice for people? My advice would be that if your dentist blows you off, don't take no for an answer or then go to somebody who can help you because for, for them to say that there's no long-term consequences, health consequences to have, you know, this kind of misalignment or jaw issues is just kind of a fib. I mean, it can lead to, you know, whether it's uh, ruining your, your teeth, get abscesses, you know, breaking them, um, just chronic inflammation, chronic pain. Um, for anyone to say that that's not a really serious long-term issue, that's just a ridiculous thing to say. And so I think that I can just try to help people by saying that uh, keep looking for the answer. Um, the, the, you, you came to a good place here, that's for sure. I'm just, it, it was, your, my expectations were just far and away, just exceeded anything, because I've become kind of pessimistic about yeah. the process, unfortunately. But uh, there's hope, guys. Um, there are solutions out there. You just have to kind of do the investigative work. Yeah. <laughs> You'll find them. So are you glad you had it done? Oh, absolutely. I just, I, it, like you talked about the beaker and the concept of how we just have to kind of maybe move Many chest pieces off the, the board. Of mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and that's so important to remember. And if even if you can dump out half, which I think you did well well over half, that's a total victory in my yeah. book. Yeah, it's a change. Mm -hmm. You've never been able to affect a change elsewhere, have you? No, it, it was, and there's a, there's a fundamental difference between <clears throat> relief and healing in the body. And that's what I have come to understand coming and working with you in your practice. Um, that, you know, Botox, massage, uh, hot ice packs, whatever you want to say, you know, aromatherapy, that's all, like, they can ameliorate the pain, but that's not true healing or, you know, any real long-term solution. It's physiologic, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so. Big time. So with the cold thing, a month, a year ago, were you cold sensitive? Very much so. But yeah, especially in the last month, it's not been real pleasant to yeah. switch cold around. <laughs> and now? It's just a non-issue. Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Remember, you need to chase the neck. Mm. Right. This and, is, mm -hmm. this is you know, whatever percentage of the beaker, whatever percentage of your problems we've kind of eliminated or palliated, I think it's more than palliation. You need to chase, chase the neck because... It's confirmed for the neck blocks that <clears throat> the neck is in play with you. That's a paradigm shift in a lot of people's brains. Yeah. What What is acceptable chiropractic or how do we need to take it to the next level as opposed to just adjustments? In my right? opinion, mm -hmm. you find a chiropractor that images minimally with CT. Okay. And there's going to be very, very few. No 2D mm -hmm. x-ray, all 3D x-ray. 3D x-ray. And if they've spent that kind of money on an in-office CT or have access to one, um, they've probably spent time trying to understand what it all means. Okay. Can't guarantee that, but they likely have. So finding a chiropractor with 3D imaging, 3D, like CBCT, mm -hmm. um, which is about $150,000 machine plus. Ours is very close to that. So um, that's, and 
I've seen chiropractors use dental CBCT um, for the neck. It's, well, and just on top of that, is it a chicken and the egg issue? Which do you think that the jaw was throwing out the neck, or is it hard to say? They're both throwing each other out. They each other, oh, okay. When you damage the ligaments in the TMJ, you damage the ligaments in the cervical spine, so it's a percentage of the beaker. Gotcha. Yeah, so they're okay. both messed up. You know, okay. you know, you're you're definitively torn on your right side. Remember that lateral pole is like completely out of play. Mm. You know, so your cervical ligaments. I'm not qualified to make that call, but they're likely out of play too. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Yes. And that's the thing to I can say to you know potential patients that Dr. Nick is not a know-it-all. I mean, well, he should be because he's so uh, bright and very very well informed and knowledgeable. But um, if you want, if it, if there's any collaborative effort, if your other physicians are kind of you know dubious about the process, he's not a know-it-all. He's very very humble, and like you just the way you just spoke about the neck issues, it all comes from concern, but not that you know I'm right, they're wrong. It's it's not a contest. It's all what you want for the patient. So it doesn't you're not gonna. It's all about the patient. Exactly as well, it should be. That's why I do this. <laughs> Absolutely. Because they can't find it elsewhere, and we integrate it into everything that we do, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Everything that we do. Tell the crowd. <laughs> do we not or not? Oh, we do. Yes. <laughs> always talking Face joints, always talking bites, always using Every time. computers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, any last words? Just take care of your yourselves and your body. To the I mean, it's just it, that's the we're, we're in this life to feel our best and live our best life. And with chronic pain, there's just no good way to do that. Yeah. So I can say, yeah. Yeah. Get a good diagnosis. Measure mm -hmm. matters, right? Absolutely. Yeah, you got measured this week. I you? sure did. <laughs> and then some, and then some. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. <laughs>